Welcome to Corsica, France, a beautiful Mediterranean locale and an ideal location for testing the brand new Jaguar E-Pace. Join me as I get a feel for this compact luxury crossover on this island's winding roads, but first an important programming note. Unfortunately, our video producers are on strike. Apparently, they're tired of working for just canned goods and want actual money. Hey, up here, mister. You know, this is going to be a very rough review. I'm just warning you right now. In fact, I had to beg the Fast Lane Cars Roman Micah to shoot this stand up for me. I hope he's doing a good job. But gosh darn it, I'm doing my best to make some lemons out of lemonade. 2018 E Pace is Jaguar's second entry into the luxury crossover segment. Trimmer than the acclaimed F Pace, it competes with the Petites, that is, high end compact utility models like the BMW X1 and Acura RDX. Offering room for five and sports car design, at least according to Jaguar, this premium vehicle is intended to attract new customers to the brand. With elegant looks, robust powertrains, and a not unreasonable base price, it should have no trouble doing just that, as long as it's decent to drive. And for the most part it is, though I do have a few gripes, which I'll get to in just a minute. You know, my overall initial impression of the E-Pace is that it's a very nice compact luxury crossover. It checks all the right boxes, the interior is quite premium, the technology is great, it's even got a fair bit of cargo room. Now, the E-Pace will be offered in two basic flavors. There's a standard model, as well as a more performance-oriented R-Dynamic version, which is what we happen to be in right now. And I've got to say, overall, it's pretty good to drive. Underneath that sleek body, the E-Pace shares the same basic underpinnings with the Range Rover Evoque and Land Rover Discovery Sport. Saving weight, the hood, front fenders, roof, and tailgate are all made of aluminum. There's also a magnesium cross-car beam, which I can't show you because it's buried in the dashboard, so look at this footage of a cow I shot. <laughs> I named him Samson. In North America, the E-Pace will be offered with a brand new Jaguar Land Rover developed Ingenium 2-liter four-cylinder engine, and it's loaded with technology, things like a variable geometry turbocharger, and even variable valve lift, things that should make it very competitive even in the luxury segment. Offered in two potencies, standard models are graced with 246 horsepower and 269 foot-pounds of torque, but our dynamic versions get 296 ponies in the stable and 295 foot torques of poundage, or whatever. According to Jaguar, that lesser engine can get the E-Pace to 60 miles an hour in just 6.6 .6 seconds. The more powerful option, well, that'll do it in just 5.9. Though I've got to say, it really doesn't feel that fast, which is kind of disappointing. Enabling that performance is a resourceful ZF 9-speed automatic gearbox, the only one you can get in an E-Pace in North America. And this is the same transmission that's really earned itself an unfortunate reputation for less than stellar shift quality. And I've got to say that's still an issue here, even in a brand new vehicle. We've experienced more than a couple harsh gear changes. Perhaps they've got a bit more tuning work to do. Curiously, all-wheel drive is standard in every E-Pace, though regular models make do with a permanent all-wheel drive setup. However, the R-Dynamics, they get an active driveline, that's Jaguar speak for a, an even fancier system. It can disconnect the rear axle for enhanced efficiency when you're just out cruising, and it can also send up to 100% of the available torque to either rear wheel. This allows for a bit of on-throttle oversteer in slippery conditions, and it's also pretty helpful off-road. As for efficiency, the E-Pace burns gasoline, and if you really care about fuel economy, just look at this chart. It's got all the numbers. I'm not going to read them off. Remember, people, this is a quick and dirty video. We ain't got time for that. 
keeping today's tech-obsessed motorist sated is plenty of circuitry. There's a 10-inch display on the dashboard, which is home to the in-control touch pro infotainment system. A 4G Wi-Fi hotspot is optional and can support up to eight devices. Also, for extra cash, you can get a 12.3-inch full-color digital instrument cluster, and it comes with a head-up display as well. As for the rest of this vehicle's interior, it's a pretty nice place to spend time. The front seats are comfortable, the materials quality is pretty good for the segment, and I've got to say I love the digital instrument cluster as well as the infotainment system. This super widescreen display is just brilliant, plus this system responds quickly and it's super colorful, very easy to navigate, so great job Jaguar. The 2018 E-Pace is a more than worthy addition to the Jaguar family and it will undoubtedly help grow their share of the ever popular luxury crossover segment. Now base price for this vehicle is about $39,595 including $995 in delivery fees and if you've got about forty grand or more burning a hole in your pocket you can look for these at dealerships in the U.S. right now. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the AutoGuide.com YouTube channel to get all of our latest features and vehicle reviews.